is being empowered by the Holy Spirit. In the book of John chapter 14 verses 16 to 17 we read like this. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. Personally in my life, my mom spent many hours praying with me and for me to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Some of us may wonder what who this Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is often portrayed as something very weird. But the Bible makes it clear that the Spirit is not something. He is someone. A person who has promised to never leave your side. The Bible never refers to the Holy Spirit as it because he is not an it and if we don't see him as a person, we cannot develop a personal relationship with him. The Holy Spirit is the third person of Trinity and wants to have an ongoing unbroken dialogue with each one of us all day long. He wants to be a constant companion, guide and our best friend. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verses 5 to 7 offers insight as to how the Trinity works together as one. There are three different administrators, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all serve different roles. The Father operates or initiates, the Son administrates, and the Holy Spirit manifests. Yet all of them are working together for the same purpose. John Bever in his book gives a good analogy of building a house. What would we need in order to build a house? We would need to hire an architect, a foreman and workers to build the house. In this illustration, God the Father is the architect, Jesus is the foreman and the Holy Spirit is represented by the workers who build the house. All three roles are essential to the construction of the house. In the scriptures, there are different names for the Holy Spirit, such as Helper, Comforter, Holy One, Spirit of Prophecy, Spirit of Revelation, Spirit of Holiness, and Spirit of the Holy God. What do you need to call upon today? The Holy Spirit has that for you. He is living inside of you. All you have to do is call upon His name and say, I want the gift of the Holy Spirit. We have an advocate with the Father who is Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit comes alongside each one of us to provide coaching, direction, instruction and counseling in our life. We are never alone. Have you and I been limiting the power and presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives? All the qualities that were listed about the Holy Spirit are available to each one of us. The Holy Spirit is given to those who obey Him. As Equip Her Women, I pray that we will be led by the truth and that we will experience the Holy Spirit in a powerful way. God be with you until next time.